Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve sallallahu ala Muhammedin ve alihi tahirin. So in brief, uh, after mentioning those uh, miracles of the Prophet, now we want to refer to some uh, of the scholars in the Sunni world. One of them is the very well-known figure Imam Abu Muhammad uh, Abu Hamid Ghazali. Imam Abu Hamid Ghazali, who is known as Imam Muhammad Ghazali, also. He is one of the outstanding uh, fuqaha and uh, mutakallimin and urafa of the 5th and 6th century in Islamic calendar. He, in his book, Al-Iqtisad fil Iqtiqat, volume 1, page 131, when he talks about the ways to prove the prophethood of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says one of the ways is to look at the miraculous acts that the Prophet had and it has been recorded from him. Then he says, uh, uh, there are some acts, extraordinary acts. Al Kharagalil Adat. Alati Zaharat Alay that it has been proven that the Prophet did. Kain Shagar al Qamar, he mentions to some hadiths which is which are the splitting splitting the moon. Nutqil Ajma speaking to animals, like the hadith that the, there was a wolf which was captured and they wanted to kill and the, 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 that wolf uh, said that you are worse than me that you deny the prophet who is among you. We talked about the hadith that the water running through the, from the, the, the fingers of the prophet. When the pebbles doing tasbih in his hand wa taksir at ta'am al-ghalil giving barakah to a little food wa ghayrihi min khawariq al-adat and the other khawariq al-adat the other extraordinary acts like what has been narrated from Isa alayhi salam the prophet Isa alayhi salam to give life to that the asam hadith says bayhaqi narrates them abu nu'aym narrates them that in one hadith is the the, the ship of Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari when he he went to his wife and said that I saw a kind of weakness in the Prophet and I know it was because of the uh, eating less. So uh, they, they decided to slaughter their sheep. So they cook the mutton and bring to the Prophet. And uh, so there are people with the Prophet, they eat from the mutton. And the Prophet says, you are, while you are eating, do not break the bones. After they finish eating, the Prophet says, put all the bones together. They put all the bones together and the Prophet prays and it turns to life and a sheep is there. So the astonished Jabir ibn Abdullah takes the sheep back to house and uh, the wife says, what is this? His wife says that the, the Prophet prayed and they cooked uh, the eaten mutton, the bones turned into a sheep. And the wife says that it's not a strange and we bear witness that he is the Prophet of Allah. Or uh, there is another hadith uh, uh, that there was a boy, he used to bring milk to the Prophet on and off. So there was a while he didn't bring milk, the Prophet asked where is the boy, they said he passed away. So the Prophet went to the father of the boy and said, uh, the Prophet liked him like the boy, the Prophet said, uh, I'm going to give you an option, a choice, whether to wait for the loss of the kid, of your son, and to be rewarded on the Day of Judgment to enter Jannah from any gate of Jannah you like because of the patience that you have in this pain and sorrow, or I can revive him back to life. So the Prophet uh, order actually gave him, offered him such an option that if you want, I can turn him back to life or to keep the uh, reward by being patient. So anyhow, these ahadiths are being mentioned. Abu Muhammad, uh, Imam Muhammad Ghazali, after mentioning all these uh, uh, points, he says that, وَكُلُّ ذَلَكَ دَلِيلٌ عَلَى صِدْقِهِ All these acts are proof of his being a true prophet. This is important. I mentioned the statement of Imam uh, Ghazali for this. If somebody says, 
آهاد اون هازه الوقایه These are اخبار آهاد These are single reports They are not متواتر لم یبلغ نقلها مبلغ تواتر قول نا We say in answering them Responding them We say that uh, In سلمه First of all Some of them are not uh, They are higher than خبر uh, واحد They are in different narrations And different reports But from different uh, Sahaba But if we accept, if we come down to what you are saying and accept that these are خبر واحد فلا يقده في الأرز مهما كان المجموع بالغا مبلغ التواتر The point is that all together there is تواتر معنوی There is a conceptual تواتر frequency It's not, when you put all these tens of hadiths, hundreds of hadiths together it gives you a concept that the Prophet had Miraculous acts. This is not خبر uh, واحد. This is متواتر. The concept is متواتر. وهذا كما أن شجاعة علي رضوان الله عليه وسخابة حاتم معلومان بالضرورة على القطع تواتر. In different narrations, it has been mentioned that Amir al-Mu'minin عليه السلام was a brave person. What has been narrated from in, from the all battles that Ali was there. When you put all of them together, there is تواتر معنوی about what about bravery of Ali ibn Abi Talib. There might be خبر واحد in one occasion or the other occasion, but when you put all these hadiths together, out of all of them you get a concept, and that is the bravery of Ali ibn Abi Talib in all these battles. This bravery is متواتر معنوی even though the stories they are narrating might be خبر واحد single report. So he said the same thing is here, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa had such miraculous acts and this is متواتر. 